Sister Mary. Hi, Malaika. Are we alone in Bible class today? I hope not. I also hope not. Let's take a look and see who else is here. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. I see Teacher Nikki. Hi. And who else do we see? I see Malaika. Mm. And let's see who else we see. Oh, it's you! Welcome to Bible class, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us today. Now, boys and girls, we need to start off with our Bible class song. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready to sing? Teacher Mary, you ready? Yes, I am. And Malaika, are you? Yay! Let's sing. Tick tock, says the clock. We're glad that you are here. Tick tock, says the clock. God is very near. Tick tock, says the clock, it's time for Bible class. Tick tock, says the clock, to love and learn and love. Yay! Well done, boys and girls. You guys did so well. Mm -hmm. Teacher Mary, I know of a book where we can learn amazing stories about Jesus. Do you know what that book is called? Yes, mm -hmm. it's the Bible! Yes it is! That reminds me of our Bible word song. Are you guys ready to sing? Malaika, are you ready? Let's sing. Bible words, Bible words. Thank you God for Bible words. It's the truth for all to read. Thank you God for Bible words. Well done, boys and girls. Now, boys and girls, we're going to go and listen to an amazing story about Jesus. I hope you guys will learn something new. And remember to listen carefully and learn something new. Enjoy. Hey guys, it's Jagan again, and I'm here to tell you another awesome Bible story. Today, we're learning about a guy named Gideon. And so this is what's happening. You can find this whole story in the book of Judges, chapter 6. Gideon is out on his own. He's sad and he's worried about life because the Midianites and Amalekites have conquered Israel. And Gideon is an Israelite living in this land. But the Amalekites and the Midianites are big bullies to the Israelites. Every time they grow crops, the, the Midianites come and take their crops and they steal their animals and they take all their possessions for themselves like a bunch of bullies. And so the Israelites are struggling. They don't have enough food. They don't have enough animals. And so Gideon is basically just taking out some wheat. It says he's threshing wheat, which means he's taking out the little wheat germs. And while he's busy taking out these little wheat germs, an angel of the Lord comes to him and says, Gideon, mighty warrior, God is with you. And Gideon looks at this angel and says, me? Do you know who I am? My family is the least family, the lowest family, the poorest family. And I am the least in my family. I'm the youngest, I'm the smallest. I'm not this mighty warrior you're talking about. And the angel says to him, yes, you are, you will be. You are going to set the Israelites free from the oppression of the Midianites and Amalekites. And he's like, wow, there's no way it can't be me. And so he decides to test the angel. And he says, okay, if you really are an angel of the Lord, I'm going to go get some food and I'll bring it back here. Wait right here under this tree for me. And so the angel waits and Gideon goes and gets food. And when he brings it back, the angel burns it up instantly phew, by touching it. And immediately Gideon's like, I'm so sorry, you really are an angel. I believe you now. And then the angel says to him, in the middle of the town, there's an altar, a place of sacrifice and worship to a false god named Baal. He's not the real god. And next to it, there's a pole, an Asherah pole, another false god that they were worshiping. And he says, go and destroy this altar and burn the pole and sacrifice a cow to God, to me. And so Gideon gets courageous. At the beginning, he was scared, but now he got some bravery. And he says, okay, I'm going to go in the night when everyone is asleep. I'm going to break the altar and burn the pole. And so that's what he does. He goes in the night while everyone's asleep. And the next morning, they all see the broken altar and they're very upset. And they're like, no ways, where's Gideon? We found out that it's Gideon who broke our altar. We want justice. And so they go up to him and they find Gideon's dad. And Gideon's dad says to them, whoa, whoa, whoa. If Baal is really God, 
Can't he sort this out himself? And so they're like, yeah, Baal really can do it. Let's let, trust Baal to do it on his own. And so they leave Gideon alone. And it says in the Bible that Gideon's altar is still standing there today. And I'm sure those people were confused because they were expecting Baal to do it. But we know that Baal is not the real God. Then, after all of this happens, the Midianites and Amalekites and people of the east decide to attack and wipe out Israel entirely and the Israelites. And so they bring all their armies across the border and they set up a camp and Gideon sees this. And so he takes a ram's horn, a trumpet, and he blows the trumpet and he sends out messengers to call all the armies of Israel to come together and defend their land. If you want to find out what happens next, come here next week and find out what Gideon and his armies do against the Amalekites and Midianites. Bye kids. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's so nice to have you back with us. Did you enjoy today's story time? I hope so. Teacher Nikki, did you enjoy today's story time? I love today's story time. That's good. And what about you, Malaika? So Malaika, I have a question for you. What do you think we should do the rest of the day? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Malaika thinks that we should make some banana bread. Mm. But Teacher Nikki, we don't have a recipe for banana bread. Oh no, Teacher Mary. Without a recipe, I sometimes get confused and don't know what to do. Yeah. But with the recipe, I get confident and it makes me do the right thing. Yeah. And you know what, Teacher Nikki? That's the same with God's Word. When we don't have God's Word in our lives, it makes everything seem confusing and we don't know what to do. But when we do have God's Word in our life, it makes us feel confident to be able to do the right thing always. That's right. Now, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. That's all for today. Until next time, goodbye. Bye.